Hey guys, here's another step for the movie poster series. So we've got the whole to our building and it's off to a pretty good start, but we need to take the extra steps to really make it pop out and also blend in. Basically do both at the same time. So there's a few ways we can do that. A couple of the steps will be the same steps that we went over for filling in damaged buildings like this one. But we're gonna go over those steps along with a couple of others to show you some extra things you can do to add more realism. So first thing we want to do is we want to get the building effectively old and damaged. And we're going to start by using the burn tools. So click on the burn tool. Make sure your brush is something that's going to be kind of have jagged edges like this one. Set it at 30 pixels. That should be fine for an image like this. And we're going to start with the exposure level, level at 75%. And we're going to go over the areas around the destroyed part of the building. Kind of do it in a chaotic fashion. Make it look like it's burnt parts from the explosion itself. Assuming this is an explosion. Could have been Godzilla. Then there would be no burn marks. And also go over the other parts of the building that got damaged as well. When you're doing this, think about the physics of the explosion. The more you think about the, the reality of what's going on with these buildings, the more real it will look. So that's looking pretty good for a start. Let's get the rest of the building old and disgusting. So we're going to make the brush bigger. We'll make it 50 pixels. And we'll set the exposure to 50% so it differentiates itself. And just cover the whole building. Don't cover everything, just cover enough so it's looking really nasty and jagged. Just so you know, if you have a stylus for this, use it, because I'm right now I'm using a mouse, and you have so much more control, especially over how hard that these brushes are hitting with a stylus. And that's pretty good. So the next thing we want to do to make it even more real is we're going to start removing windows. The best way to do that is to actually take them out of the picture itself. So you could use the eraser keys, but I prefer the lasso tool because you can get a little bit more accurate with it. <clears throat> so just like so, trace around the window and press Ctrl X and there you go. Now because the damaged hole of the original building is still there, it ties in very well with our current building, so it makes it look even more real and more interesting. And if you do this enough and you get a little creative with it, like I'm doing here, you can make it look really real, really dramatic, really interesting, almost artistic. It's almost like it's a more of a painting than a photo now. Kind of reminds me of Cloverfield. By the way, the uh, Godzilla monster can kick the Cloverfield monster's ass any day of the week. Okay, so I think we've broken enough windows. Now it's really starting to blend in. Now the next step is for us to actually change the color balance of the hole itself since it's a separate image. And we're going to do that by going to Image, Adjustments, Brightness and Contrast. Bring that down a little bit, bring up the contrast a little bit. And let's change the colors around just a little bit so it better fits. <clears throat> and that's good, but it's a little standing out a little too much. So image adjustments, hue and saturation. There we go. That's looking good. And let's add a little bit of burn effect to it as well.
All right. Now let's zoom out on that. That's looking pretty good. The only problem now is that our area up here doesn't fit in. So use the same techniques that we did on this burnt hole and you want to match them up as best as you can. Just broken windows, color correction, using the burn tool, etc. So just try that out. And in the next video, I'm going to go over adding elements like this, these plumes of smoke and clouds, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to take these cloud elements and add them in with as few steps as possible.